Hi, I'm Richard Dean, acting principal horn of the New York Philharmonic, and this is What's in My Other Case. Last time you saw me, I told you about my horn and some of the gear that I use as a horn player. Today, I'm going to, oh, hold on, wait a second. Looks like my colleague Becky Young is calling. Let's see if I can let her in. Hey, Becky, what are you I doing here? I'm crashing your what's in my case video. Wait, wait, how did you know that I was recording? I didn't tell you. A little penguin told me. Oh, Philippe. Okay, Philippe. Well, that, makes, that makes sense. Well, today I'm doing a what's in my other case video. And you probably saw the one from before where I showed everybody about the instrument that I play in the orchestra. Mm -hmm. the big horn and all of the gear that I have in there. Well, today I've got something smaller. Look at this. What happened? Did you put it in the dryer? <laughs> it made a lot of noise when I put it in the dryer. No, no, no. <laughs> Aunt put a French horn in the dryer. So this is my mini horn. Wow. And, yeah. Where did it come from? Well, if it's a mini French horn, my guess is French it horn. came from it, France. You would think it comes from France, but this one did not come from France. This one, you know, I was looking on eBay for something called a mini horn because what I wanted to do was put it in my suitcase. I know it sounds crazy, but I wanted when we when we travel with, with the orchestra. I wanted something I could put in my suitcase. So if I needed to practice, I could just pull it out of the suitcase without having to take this giant case along with me. So you could practice on the airplane. <laughs> you wouldn't have to would let me. <laughs> so anyway, I, I searched for something called a mini horn and this beautiful little instrument came up. It's something new. Oh. It's basically the same length as a trumpet. So but it's curled up to look like a French horn. And I thought it was super, super cute. I didn't expect it to sound very good, but it was only $200. So I went ahead and just ordered it. And another reason that I ordered it was, you know, back way, way back 500 years ago, I, I, I printed out a picture. This is what the ancestor of my French horn looked like. Whoa. called the horn of many there's no valves wow the valve hadn't even been invented wasn't invented i should say until about 300 years later so i took a look at this mini horn and i saw this old french <laughs> horn it's called the horn of many turns because you can see the, the tube wraps around again and again and again and I thought it looked like that. And it really made me think, okay, this is gonna be something that's really fun, so. Yeah. I've been in the orchestra a long time and I've never seen anything so cute. I know, it's, it's a Christmas really cute. tree ornament. And the, uh, you could hang it on a Christmas tree. The branches <laughs> would support it. It's not very heavy, but the amazing thing is it really sounds good. So no music has really been written for the mini horn. So we have to find places that we can use it. Benny okay. wants to hear it. Are you going to play it for yeah, us? Yeah, I'm going to play it. If someone said, hey, Richard, do you want to play something, maybe a piece by box, maybe something Baroque? I could play, I could play something like this. Just don't Baroque it. <laughs> or maybe something by Handel. sounds like a French horn. It does. Sounds like a it, one. Yeah, so it kind of sounds like a trumpet too, sort of like right in the middle there. Yeah. So do you use the same mouthpiece for it or is it different? You do. The mouthpiece is basically exactly the same. You can see this one. I've just got a different one in, but it's, it, it's important that we use the same mouthpiece because we want it to feel the same on our lips. So that makes it really a, much easier to play. Yeah. Are there different things in your mini case as the, from the other, different from the big case? Like you have smaller pencils? 
<laughs> I do. You know, the last time we showed the pencil holder, you guys can see I have a pencil oh, holder yeah. on the back. Yeah. But this one, really, I don't really have anything in my case except for the valve oil because the valves, as you can see, that's these little things right here that turn around to, to um, uh, disperse the air differently th through the horn. Um, they require oil, just like they do on the regular horn, but this case is basically has absolutely nothing in it, just this beautiful little French horn. Wow, and, yeah. and the same number of valves and everything. This one has three. Yeah. As you can see, I can barely fit my hand on it. Yeah. This one, three levers, I should say, three levers and three valves. This one, my regular horn, has five levers and seven valves. So it's okay. a lot more complicated. Five levers and stuff. How do you do that with only three little paddly things? The thumb oh, operates thumb. two. Hidden. And each of these fingers operate one, making five. Each one of the thumb levers operates two turning valves. So See, this is something like I learned from the harp that they never use their pinkies. Did you know that? I didn't I did. know that. I did not they, know that until recently. I didn't know that you have two valves with your thumb and that I thought they're just three on top. Yeah, no, there's two valves with the thumb. Life is a- A lot of horns have only one valve with the thumb, but you know, it's just uh, it's a difference from one to the other. I know some basses, for instance, have five strings instead of four, correct? Yeah, well, they have the extension too. You know, extension that thing that too, plays right. low in- um, Sure. Uh, da, 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 da. What's that piece? Um, is there something that you really, really like about playing the mini horn other than the convenience of when you have to travel? <laughs> I, I love the fact that I can put it in my suitcase and yeah. uh, I can pull it out and practice in a hotel room. Um, and it's just really fun. And you know, I just started playing it at the on the bandwagon this fall in the New York bandwagon. And oh, wow. we did a piece with it and it was so fun because everybody loved it because it's so cute. So it's, uh, I think it's gonna be something that we're gonna try to use a lot. Maybe we'll use it for holiday brass next year, oh, something yeah. like that. I wanted to show you guys also, you know, if you wanted to make your own mini horn for about 10 bucks, yeah. I can show you how to do it. It's really fun. Um, so go to the hardware store. This is just clear plastic tubing, you can see. There's a tube right there. I got one for my fish tank, but it's a little bit too wide, I think. It's exactly what it is. And then you got to get it, uh, I'll just tell you the, the specifications. It's um, quarter inch inside diameter. That fits a horn mouthpiece perfectly. So you uh, go to the hardware, ask them for quarter inch inside diameter and uh, go on eBay get yourself a used horn mouthpiece, 10 bucks. I was gonna say, you can't get a mouthpiece in the hardware store, can you? You cannot, okay. unfortunately. Maybe maybe, in, maybe in some future world, that's, that's a possibility, but- That's hardware. Um, so this is, I got, I got four feet of this tube, and then I got four feet of a tube that's slightly bigger so that I can put the, little tube inside the big tube like this kind of slide it in so now i've got a horn that's eight feet long and that is the same length as the b flat horn that i have on my regular instrument big, huh? i guess everybody can recognize what that is i hope it's a funnel because it's a funnel know. that's okay, all it good. is all right all right good and so let me just wrap it up like that horn that i showed you guys earlier oh yeah the picture yeah Remember this guy from 1550, yeah. the year 1550? Well, here's my modern sort of interpretation, basically, same thing. It's a little messy right <laughs> now, but it sounds pretty good. Whoa, I'm surprised Benny's not going. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, these are really fun to play and it's basically it, it's basically what we, um, it's the same horn that we've, uh, you know, that was our ancestor f almost 500 years ago. So Becky, thanks for crashing. What's in my other case? My pleasure. I learned a lot. It was really fun. Awesome. I'm Richard Dean, acting principal horn of the New York Philharmonic. 
And I'm Rebecca Young, Associate Principal Viola of the New York Philharmonic. Oh, and this is Benny. And thanks for coming to What's in My Other Case. See you next time. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.